Well, I'm not sure if any of you guys noticed, but there was a massive Twitch leak of everybody's income. I am at the very bottom of that list. But anyways, uh, hold on. I have some stuff for today. We're supposed to be doing some stuff. I got a... Here we go. Uh, what's this game? This is Bigfoot. Yeah, so this is a game about uh, walking through the woods. And uh, it's a pretty cool game. Um, there's no cryptids or any dangers like that. So don't even have your, your guard up at all. Uh, psych, there's Bigfoot. Bigfoot's in the game. So uh, he moves faster than humans. Uh, he's really mad for some reason. He destroys camera equipment that you leave around. He hits women. I mean, this guy's just an all-around bad egg. Let's uh, let's get in there and kill this guy. Yeah, that was a the trailer. Um, but we're not we're not playing that game. <laughs> I just had the trailer in the event that we did play it. But in reality, we're gonna just be playing Battlefield. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. oh my god, don't even fucking watch this. All right, everybody close their eyes. Everybody close their eyes. I'm not, I haven't played an FPS in a hot minute. I got him. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Get a kill? No. <laughs> that's where I did, that's where we disagree. I actually joined the Battlefield 5, uh, battle, what game is this? Battlefield 2042 beta under the condition that I'm a, I'm a conscientious objector. Holy shit. And I'm here to just do good works. What the hell? The fucking jet's just flying. What the, the dog has a parachute. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. I'll get her. Hold on. I'll get her. Hold on. Oh, no. It's just battlefield things, you know? This is just a game where wacky shit like that happens. Uh I'm uh, kind of fucked up, but that's fine. Oh my god, hold on. Majority of sectors under our control. Looks like they got sector fox trots. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah! Oh damn it. I I went in. I want my first kill on stream to be like a melee. And I thought I would have like a knife or something. My guy, <laughs> my guy pulls out the Dukes. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We won. Just in case you guys, have you ever like seen a streamer and you're like, dude, is this guy fucking hacking? How is he able to do this? His hands are like lightning in around like that. You know, I might from time to time bring up the keyboard and mouse cam. So you guys know I am legitimately playing. I don't want you guys to think that I'm hacking aimbotting. Nobody will ever think that. What are you talking about? Dude? Oh, here. I got like a little video of an owl that I took yesterday. There was an owl on my, on my, uh, in my fence. Check this out. Man, look at that motherfucker. He's pretty as shit. Dang. That motherfucker pretty. <laughs> yeah, pretty gay. Oh, damn. I said that's some bad stuff at the end. He was out there just hanging out. Oh, shit. Are we in a game? <laughs> no, I'm not in a game. We were matchmaking and I got kicked out. All right. Probably because I wasn't doing anything. Probably because I was looking at owls. Hold on. Just, just one more time. Look at the way he turns his head as soon as I start talking. Man, look at that Whoa! Look at him. Dude, he just comes on. Man, look at that Zing! Dude, what a guy. Yeah, owls are fucking cool. What we should do is we should uh, get a noose and tie one end to a drone and the other end to aqua. <laughs> and then bring him up to his tippy toes. <laughs> Until we can extract whatever money he's made off Twitch. I know how much he's made on Twitch. The leaks were made for Twitch. Give me that money, aqua, or I'll raise the drone up. And that's a crime you could commit from like miles away. You know, if you just tie the rope to the bottom of the drone and then like fly it in his window and grab him like, like a claw game, you know, hook it around his head and then pull him out the window. 
they'll never catch you because you're just so far away. I'd, I'd be doing that probably from across the street, but you know, they would assume that I'm miles away because no smart guy would be across the street doing that. Truly a victimless crime. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's not really a crime though, because I'm doing it for money, right? Look at, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Now, do you, do you guys want me to get a kill this stream? Because I could get a kill right here. I could get one. You want me to get a kill here? I could get one. You just tell me. Give me the word. Yes? Nah? Ah! You guys took too long. This is your fault. You took too long. You guys were all indecisive. Like, I don't know, guys. Do you want to... <laughs> There's one person watching this with like five people in the room. You want them... Everybody count their votes. Tally the votes. Do you want me? <laughs> Send it. Okay. Yeah. Take the shot. It was too late at that point. And maybe, yeah, I'm going to stick with the sniper because I actually, I have to actually try. This is pathetic. There's a million streamers out there right now getting kills. And I got like four people watching me and these four people want probably like one kill. There he is. Oh my God. That was a warning shot. I just didn't want him to think. Oh my God. I'm giving him these warning shots so that he knows that I'm not really serious about kicking his ass. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get him this time. Oh my God. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh! I'm going to fucking kill this guy. Oh, he's jumping. Where's that guy going? Oh, you son of a bitch. If gravity didn't save that motherfucker, you have no idea how hurt he was. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get another kill eventually. I got the one, uh, and I've kind of sated my bloodthirst. And drop. Let me fucking put some on here. A little red dot, maybe a little bit. What is this? Put that on there. Some. What's that? What does this do? One of these. Hell yeah. There we go. Oh, it's like Tarkov. See, we got like a little Tarkov thing here. Can I just lie to you guys and say I'm drunk? <laughs> can, I just, can I just lie to your face and say I'm drunk? That was so fucking pathetic. Dude, so anyways, I'm just going to start drinking because that's the only way I can explain this away. Hold on. Here, I'll give you guys something while I make a drink. Clint Eastwood's yeah. reputation on set is that he does like eight yeah. hour days. He just like doesn't do how it takes and everyone goes home early and everyone's like, it's fucking, he pays really well. Everyone's like, it's fucking great. Really? Damn. Yeah. yeah, but then you have to deal with Clint Eastwood just saying a bunch of racist shit to you. Have you noticed that? Like every, every movie he makes is like, whoa, we need to work in the five, ten minutes where I use every racist slur possible. Hold be... on, uh, my monologue's yeah. coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get me a lineup of minorities and I'll sit there. And I'll, yeah. let it, I'll, just, I'll let it rip. <laughs> yeah. But no punchlines or anything. It's really just the... <laughs> Just dry just observations. Yeah, just dry <laughs> observations. Yeah. It's not going to be funny or move the plot. I just yeah. need this. It's in my contract. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if it services the story or character development. You don't have to put it in the final cut. Yeah, don't, even, yeah. <laughs> don't even have the cameras rolling. Yeah. Yeah. It's preferable if they're not rolling. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Freddy W. How great is that guy? Yeah, he's funny. Probably one of our better guests, to be honest. Bottom. Fuck! When I was a kid, we have a lot of alcoholics in my family, right? A lot of alcoholics. And so, but like my grandparents, my grandparents decided, no, no more drinking. And so my parents and my uncle weren't allowed to drink. They were like, that's a no-no. I didn't realize that everybody secretly drank a lot behind the scenes. They just didn't let anybody know about it. And so like whenever I went to my uncle's house, I never picked up on it that my uncle was an alcoholic until I went over there. Um, and for years, dude, like anytime he had something to give me, I don't know, just like some whatever garbage thing. Like if it was like a bunch of small somethings, it, he always gave it to me in a crown royal bag. 
And I used to always think like, dude, like where'd my uncle, like if someone gives you something in this, you're like, oh, that, and you don't know what Crown Royal is. You're gonna be like, oh, that's nice. It's like a cute little bag. Like, I wonder where he got that. Does he get these special for me? <laughs> and then, uh, and then I got older and I realized, dude, that guy was slamming back Crown Royal all the time. <laughs> I never realized it. Cause I only saw him at like family functions and stuff where nobody's allowed to drink. Isn't that a George Lopez bit? Well then, me and George Lopez have something in common. Oh! What the fuck is that? Where'd he come from? Oh, he took the zip. There's a zip line. <laughs> the fuck was that? You saw it, ladies and gentlemen. Third kill of the day. I've been streaming now for... An hour and 28 minutes. Three kills in, hour and 28 minutes, fellas. That's one every 30 minutes. Keep them coming. Fuck you! That's right, complete control. Oh my god, this guy can't be stopped. He's on a fucking rampage. This guy's shooting his own teammates. This guy's on a fucking rampage. He was not a bot. There, was he a bot? Do they even have bots in this game? Oh, yeah. They have bots if, like, the game's empty. But that was not a bot. They, the way the guy was fucking... No. I don't think a bot would even stop to shoot a UAV. Is he primary? That's moving like a bot. That guy's a bot. Look at the way he's moving. He's got a grenade out. And he's just sitting there doing a side strafe. That's a bot. What's oh, a dog? Die, dog, die! I can call in my own objectives. Let's call in the dog again. Is it just me or did I get like slide vision? Hold on. Like if I, yeah, like what the, what the heck is going on, bro? That's not normal, is it? That can't be, like if I, if someone's like running left and right, you just kind of, that's not normal. That can't be normal, dude. What the hell? It's pretty cool, like, turning corners, though. Like, imagine getting a shot of you just, like, gunning around a corner. That's cool as hell. If that is normal. Oh, no, dog! Are you just running? You don't run from me. Come back here. No! My rocket! No! No! My dog! Have you guys seen that hot political, like, that fight that um, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump got into? Have you seen that? Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest political rebuttal of all time. <laughs> Take that Planned Parenthood. I'm gonna. <laughs> that's a. <laughs> that's a good rebuttal to it. Take that Planned Parenthood. <laughs> I'm gonna get some sauce on some people. I'm gonna strategize. I'm gonna get a pentakill. I'm gonna get a uh, POTG or whatever. Play the. You guys are gonna be doing pog faces, pog champs, because of how much ass I'm about to kick. Eat shit! That was pathetic. Yeah! Oh, fuck. Wait, this thing's still alive. And it has hovering capabilities, which means just when you thought I wasn't cool enough, I go and do a thing like this. Turn this shit into maximum overdrive, baby. Ah! That's fine. At least it's a cool kill cam. <laughs> Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh yeah, he's just laying down. I'm gonna come up behind that guy. I'm gonna fucking get him. Get this shit. Watch this. Going in for a recon mish. Mish is like a cool way of saying mission, by the way. Going in for a recon mish. You wouldn't know about it. Oh my 
God, he's got friends, he's got friends. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. You do a reload. And then you come in creeping. Oh. Throw the fucking thing. What is up with my guy? You won't throw the grenade. Um, I was watching that uh, that guy Aqua FPS. He's got a fucking Hello Fresh sponsor. They send him food, and he just eats it on stream, and that's the sponsor. The fucking guy weighs like 170 pounds. He is not the person you want reviewing food. Send me food. I'll tell you if food's good or not. If if, if big old fat me goes like. Dude, you guys need to eat at this place. It is absolutely Mac dog. Don't you think you'd be like, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. He's fat as fuck. He eats a lot of food. I'll hold up as credentials. I'll hold up my cholesterol, <laughs> my blood pressure. Look at this. This is a guy that's had a lot of food pass through this gut. I know what I'm talking about. He doesn't have the body to know what's going on with that food. Is that what it is? I'm less picky, so I'm like, uh, I'm not as good of a indicator of what's good. Because he's super thin, so he's super picky. Didn't explain why he ate my ass two nights ago. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, stop it! An asshole shooting at me down there. Yeah, fucker. I'm gonna go down there and teach that guy what for. Fucking shooting at me, you son of a bitch. Oh no, it's a robot dog! <laughs> I can't I can't compete with that. He's got multiple! God damn, I gotta reload! Why do you have so many of these? <laughs> he had two robot dogs, dude! Oh my god, how do you go down? I keep like oh you have to do the okay. Is there a way to like make it not fast? <laughs> You guys are gonna have to get a cam of how much I have to move the mouse in order to fucking turn this thing. Jesus Christ. Just to go like fucking around in a circle. I'm out. Let me go get that fucking guy. <laughs> There's no conceivable way I make it over there without getting shot, but I'm make, oh, he's shooting, he's sniping at me, I think. That guy is over there in the corner. He's not going to see this shit coming from a mile away. You stank booty. Now give me that fucking ammo. See, I know what I'm doing. I got this down. Why am I playing better, like, inebriated than I was? I killed that guy too. <laughs> oh! Never before seen in the history of Battlefield. The guy used the paddles. I've been paddled awake. So my uh, my neighbor knocked on my door. It was my neighbor's kid. All right, he's like 12. And he knows what I do for a living, but he doesn't know the channel. And so he was like, he was sitting there asking me about Fortnite or something. Something about Fortnite. And I'm like, I have no idea. Oh, he was asking about a, a new hard drive. He's like, I need like a hard drive thing. Do you have a hard drive I could have? And I was like, I, I do have a hard drive. I'm going to clear it off and give it to him like an SSD. Because he, him and his brother are fighting over space. His brother wants to play Warzone. And he wants to play Fortnite. And so I'm like clearing off. An, I'll clear off an SSD and give it to him. But he, um, <laughs> this kid, he was like, hey, do you have a Twitch? And I was like, I'm actually live right now. And he's like. No way. <laughs> What's your username? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you're fucking like 12. I'm not, I'm not giving you my username. Uh, his parents are very cool. And so I feel like being cool to their kid as, as a show of like, I, I pay her other son a way more money than I should to like mow my grass. Not only that, but we have a scumbag lady that lives in the block that like 
She's like, she swindled them so fucking hard. You don't swindle a fucking teenager, man. They're trying to like mow grass for money. Cause you know, they're, it, this kid's just trying to get his dick wet and bring his girl out to like Whataburger. Do you guys remember that? The dating time where like bringing a girl to Whataburger was like the biggest financial expense you could do. You're at the counter and she's ordering like, yeah, I'd like a large burger. And you're like, damn bitch, a large? <laughs> that's an extra 75 cents. I better be getting my dick wet tonight. But like, that's what this kid's doing. He's like, he's of the age where having like bringing your girl out to a date is a huge deal. You know, buying her some Mickey D's or something is a big deal because he just hit high school. My neighbor is like a, somehow swindled him into paying by the hour, like $10 an hour. And she sets him up to immediately start doing the hardest weeding job of my life. Like this guy was just yanking out these hard ass weeds for he had to do an entire flower bed. He finished in like 48 minutes and she's like, OK, well, you didn't it didn't take an hour. So here's seven dollars tore up this garden dude not a weed in sight it was it was scorched earth just like anybody would have asked for it like anybody would have hoped for a weed eaten garden he fucking yanked out everything she paid him seven fucking dollars so anyways uh collectively we all got down there and killed her and like i don't know i was thinking about it like when i was a kid i would mow the grass for like 20 bucks so i figured that's been like two decades since i would do that it's been 20 years. So I was like, I'll, you know, I'll give him like 60 bucks to mow my grass front, front and back. And then I asked him to like, get rid of like all these plants and shit extra and like cut down some stuff like in like a little, it's just like my side yard to get rid of some shit by my fence and like get the vines off. So I gave him like an extra 40 bucks. So it was like a hundred dollars. Cause all we had was a hundred. I really, I would have given him like 80, but I had a hundred bucks. So. I didn't have change where I'm not going to ask a kid for change when I know he doesn't have it. So I gave him a hundred bucks and his mom came by and she was like, I just want to tell you that that was the one thing that kept this kid from snapping mentally because he had just got finished getting fucked over <laughs> for $7 <laughs> the day before. And then he mowed your grass and like, and then he felt better because you know, you didn't pay him like a fucking chump. I don't know. It, there's nothing worse than like old boomer ladies that are retired paying for some kid to mow their grass because they are usually fucking horrible with pay. The chat's getting flooded with good guy Sam. I don't want this. No, I don't want to. What I need to start doing is, is start telling fake stories about how great I am. So then you guys think I'm awesome. Did I tell you guys about the time that I saved 14 children from a burning bus? <laughs> Anyway, so I was busy, you know, making out with Megan Fox and I noticed the bus was burning on the side of the road. And I said, listen, Megan, babe, I get it. You want a bone. I have a hard time nutting if there's children screaming on fire in my ear. We got to do something about this. So naturally I ran over there and I saved them all. And I uh, got a key to the city. Uh, let's pump up my rep. I want people thinking I'm the nicest guy of Twitch. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to be like Pestily. But instead of actually donating everything to a kid's charity, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to create a shell charity where the beneficiary is like some sort of mentally deranged child, which just turns out to be me. <laughs> Let's be honest. And I'll get you guys to donate in masses. So from your perspective, oh, Sam is getting, Sam's giving so much money to the mentally ill. And then it turns out that I'm the mentally ill. I'm the guy that the money's going to. Does anybody know what the key to the city does? That's like the grand, in like movies and stuff, they're like, oh, we're gonna give up the hero this key to the city. But it's always like a big key. What does it do? Like, what does that symbolize? Give your boner breath. Fuck off. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna fuck that guy right in the pussy. Hold on. Bitch! Oh my God. Hook, line, and stinker. You look like a fucking fool. Everybody's laughing at you right now. Uh-oh. He's got friends down there. Check this out. Let me pull out the sniper. Oh, he's dead. Oh! That guy just yanked those dudes with a fucking the propeller blade. He just came down and... Oh, 
shit. You do go around the corner here. Wait, wait until that guy's out of ammo, and then you run. And then you wait until this guy's out of ammo, and then you gun him down. Fuck! Switch to your pistol! Gun him down! Gun him down! Switch to your grenade! Throw it at the floor! Bam! And then you sit back, and you take another sip of your crown and coke. That was a gamer moment. I started out this stream 90 minutes, three kills. At the end of this thing, I'm sorry, dude. I'm like the Grim Reaper. I'm just snatching the life out of people. I think it's time because we're in between rounds for like a PSA of some sort. What else do I got here? What's funny is there's a guy, um, wilderness, whatever, I, uh, primitive living or whatever, primitive survival. I forget. There's like a million of those channels where it's just like a, just a random dude out there building crap. Those guys got replaced in two seconds. So they, they have like, these guys are leaving like a, uh, you know, their, their civilized life with their fucking nine to five and their nice little stupid Central tech Bravo. job to make crap out in the woods and make videos on it. Have you seen the copycats? There's like these two guys that are in like Cambodia or some shit and they have a channel that's like basically the same thing, but they're like two little Vietnamese dudes. Those guys knock the wilderness survival guy or whatever out of the water. They build like palaces and shit out of dirt. They build like just the most insane. This guy's like, those are fake. I don't fucking care if they're fake. I'm still looking at two. How are they fake? They catalog how they do it. They show them do it. Okay. So do you think they like whenever they're not like they shoot them doing it and then they bring in like a crew or do they have like a excavator sitting off camera that they bring in there to, to dig out the rest? Dude, the amount of like shit on your screen. That guy had eight different allied things behind him before I realized he was bad. No, it's real, but the things are too fragile and break afterwards. Simpler stuff is actually real and usable, but with more historic precedent of how people used to live. No, 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 no. No, I, I get that. I get that. They're not making historical reproductions of like Neolithic structures. I get that. When I, nobody in their right mind sees two guys making an underground palace with a fucking pool and goes, is this really how cavemen lived? No, nobody does that. I'm watching two little Vietnamese dudes making a cool underground pool. All right. I know it's fucking stupid and fake, but I'm watching it because when I was a kid, I used to go over to my friend's house who had red clay in his backyard. And we used to sit there with like spoons. Like this shit was like escape from Alcatraz. And we'd sit there and just like, oh shit, there's a guy right next to me. <laughs> he just ran by, huh? He's down here. There he is. <laughs> Chumley. Oh shit, I'm getting shot. So all we did was we sat there and used spoons and dug out the, the red clay until we had like a little tunnel. Oh shit, I can like see down below. We dug out enough of this kid's backyard without his parents knowing that we basically had uh, the beginnings of what would be a cave. It went down. It's where his dogs would like, they kind of like wallowed out like a hole and would lay in it. And so we dug down even more and then made like a sideways cave entrance. Now this kid is at the time I was just like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to my friend's house. Looking back on it, these people had the most Mac daddy house ever. It was like a super contemporary cinder block, 1960s, 50s, like atomic style house, right? Like something out of fallout, but it was made out of cinder block and it was split level where you like walked in the front door that was flat, but you were on the second story. And then on the backside, you would go out onto like lower end into where uh, the backyard is. And they had like four acres back there. And so the dad was like, Hey, I'm going to go mow grass with my riding lawnmower in the backyard. And so he was like mowing and he eventually <laughs> came across our cave. He didn't know it, but we had dug down and then dug over with no supports. We're not engineers. We didn't come up with mining trusses and shit and like put up rigging under there. We just dug with like whatever we could under into like a, like a huge like cave thing that went back there. Basically enough for us to just huddle in there. It wasn't far. 
and the guy was riding his lawnmower and it was like trimmers. He was riding it and then just fell vertically down because the floor, the cave collapsed. Imagine riding a lawnmower and all of a sudden you just go face first down into like a sinkhole. And he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing? But that was, that was the only thing I'd ever done like that. And I thought it was so cool, especially since it fucked up his mower. I thought it was like, whoa, we're like Viet Cong. And then these guys are building palaces, underwater pools, like weird mud huts. I don't care how historically accurate it is. I'm not here to relive the days of cavemen. I'm here to watch these guys make a crazy clay observatory or some shit. I don't know. The game looks fine, but the map seems terrible. I have never seen a more correct sentiment in my life. Look at the water here. If you're going to have a map that's an island, you have to have some way to incorporate the water. Why didn't they have a point over here on the island? So that there was a use for like aquatic stuff, you know, like Wake Island or something like that, like that map. Like, why didn't they utilize any of this section of the map? Uh oh. What's up, bitch? In the tracks! I've seen Saving Private Ryan! Hell yeah! All right. Uh, honestly, you know Wubby? Pay money Wubby? Dude, I feel like we got a lot. We were on the same wavelength. You know what I mean? We had the same vibe going on. And you can watch me and Charlie and know that we do not have the same vibe going on. We are totally different. Because I love to hate. I love it. There's nothing I love more than just being incredibly hateful towards stuff. And Charlie is like, the, he's, he doesn't have an ounce of hate in him. I hate that he doesn't hate stuff. <laughs> That's my gripe. Oh shit, there's like a bunch of wubby people in here. <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding. I hate that fucking guy. <laughs> Let's piss off all the wubby fans. That guy fucking sucks. Dude, do you guys see in that leak thing? Did you see what he's making on Twitch? I'm about to fucking seduce me a big fucking fat guy with glasses. Hell yeah. Is this the start of the stream? <laughs> yeah. Guys, this is the very beginning. We have hours of gaming ahead of us. Hours. I'm telling you. Yeah, this is the beginning of the stream, guys. I got a scary ghost story to tell you guys. And then we'll start the stream. Light dancing among light. What could it be? So beautiful. So simple. It could be anything. There's a certain elegance to it. And that you really don't know what you're looking at. It could be anything. It's like modern art. It is what your mind decides that it is. It could be celestial bodies dancing in a perpetual orbit around each other. It could be snowflakes resting on a railing at my grandma's cottage. Or it could just be the reflection in a man's glasses as you're trapped in his closet. Hello. Welcome to another General Sam stream. I do hope you enjoy your stay. You and I will get along, I can tell. As long as you do as you're told. In my relationships, I have a gentle hand. But once the hand is clasped, it's an iron fist. I know many of you are apprehensive about having me as the leader of this little group. Who am I to stream to a platform such as Twitch? Surely there's some gauntlets, some hoops that you have to jump through in order you're able to broadcast whatever you want on here. Well, I can assure you, I do have some qualifications. Let me show you. How many Twitch streamers can do this? Rest assured, my talents go beyond this. But this is what I use to warm up the crowd. Whoa. All right. 
so for this stream, we're going to be doing some wild shit. Uh, you guys are going to... Oh, no. 